Hey guys, and welcome to a quick peek at Gnarly Hike, a horror game that was released, I think, in late January this year, 2024. And I was very kindly offered a key by the developer, so thanks guys. And to be clear, I'm not being paid to uh, review this. In fact, this isn't even what I would consider a review. When I do review games, I prefer to play them to the end, especially with these kind of games, like horror games and such. But I just don't have the time for that right now. So I thought I'd have a quick peek at it and uh, play it with you guys and just talk a little bit about how I feel about the game. And I don't do this very often on my channel. Normally I look at, you know, retro games, but every now and then there's gonna be like a horror game or, you know, a more modern game or, or an indie game. And I know that most of my viewers probably aren't that into this, but, you know, it doesn't happen that often. Anyway, I have just just started the game up and, you know, checked how the controls work. I did change a couple of settings, just to be clear, just uh, to uh, give you some advice. Increase my sensitivity a bit and definitely remove the, uh, what's it called, the smooth camera, because, oh my god, it's like... I was playing in military grade syrup. <laughs> so just some healthy advice there. And we're gonna start a new game. Let's stop here. Seems like a nice place. Yeah, famous last words, <laughs> I'm sure. And uh, yeah, this looks like a great place to hike and I'm wondering a little bit, um, how did I get here with my Jeep? Doesn't seem to be a road, but hey. Um, yeah, maybe it's a flying car. I, I don't know. And we've got these pretty birds. I mean, butterflies, of course, sorry. There's birds too, but I haven't really seen any. Not sure if these uh, butterflies represent anything. We have the, the waypoint system. Go to the waypoint over there. But I'm not going to do that because in typical fashion of me, I'm just going to go exploring and go places I'm not supposed to be because... That's what I do. <laughs> and uh, the visuals in the game are uh, quite nice. It's got some kind of weird camera blur thing if you get near something. Uh, as you can see, yeah, the background blurs. It's a little bit confusing at times, but I think you can probably turn it off. But I'm not really sure. It's not too bad. And sometimes the entire image blurs for whatever reason. And, oh, invisible wall, and also my vision is going poorly here, so... And I'm not sure why there are trees growing out of this lake. Maybe this area is flooded. Who knows? Can I take a swim? Uh, I can, actually. And interestingly enough, if you have a really um, close listen here, you can hear my feet tapping on the water. <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. And again, why are there trees growing out of the ocean? Or the, not the ocean, but this lake. I'm not sure. But I have to explore a way here. Can I leave the map? That is, of course, the most important question right now. I think I found the edge of the world. Yep, yeah, definitely not supposed to be here. But let's carry on. Maybe we can find treasure, secrets, and wonderful things. Uh, yeah, I have found the e the edge of the world. Dare I take a step into the unknown? Yes. There we go. Bye. <laughs> right. So, oh, there's my waypoint. Bye, waypoint. I don't think we'll be seeing each other anytime soon. So let's just start a new game, I suppose, and uh, stop uh, making a mess of things. And uh, yeah, talking about the graphics, yeah, they look fairly nice, I'd say, but maybe a little bit barren in places and there's some weirdness going on. And I don't know if these trees are bought from a store, maybe it's just something. They don't quite fit together, all of them, but yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway, we should press tab and get my diary. The diary entry is up to the left. Search for a good spot for camping. Okay, but yeah, anyway, it's a very nice looking diary. I, I'm pleased, let's uh, just go away, leave, and have a look at my, my new camping site. 
And if we press shift, we can run and my God, this, this person isn't particularly fast. <laughs> but hey, at least we don't have stamina. But let's have a look up here. Not this way. Uh, okay. So that way was okay, but this way isn't. <laughs> well, let's just do what the game wants. Or I may be punished for realsies. Let's go over here. Oh, and watch the pretty butterflies. And there's an invisible wall here. I don't know why. Oh, here we go. Let's do some banging and here we go. Uh, that was the crafting aspect of the game, I presume. <laughs> Good job on setting up your camp. Time to go to sleep. No, I don't want to go to sleep. I want to go jump off the world again. Diary update. Tap to check. Take the flash. Okay. What was that? Better check it out. How about... No. Don't check it out. <laughs> it's either a bear... It's going to eat my face or some horrible monsters. So... Oh. Either way, I, I don't want to get involved with that. But uh, we pick stuff up by, I think, pressing the fire button when we get these uh, gears. Found some lithium batteries. Someone's been polluting nature here. That's very, very rude. And search the scream source. Mm, terrible idea. Yeah, that's a very nice looking battery. I'm sure it will serve me well. And I believe if we press F... We can use the flashlight. And I wonder what's cooking. Probably human remains or something. Uh, let's go. And I find these waypoints to be a little immersion breaking. I'm not a super huge fan of that. Um, I feel there are better ways to guide the player. It's a little bit handholdy, but maybe it's just me nitpicking. <laughs> but we see what we find. Let's go over here and shine some light into the darkness and possibly be eaten by some horrific space alien and I can definitely hear something that wasn't me something, someone is moving around out here we can carry on and ignore the waypoint but maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, no, we shouldn't, because now my vision is going bad again. Should have brought my glasses. Okay... Not sure if that was a glitch, or... Yeah, I don't know what that was. Let's not go there. Let's go over here, where we are safe. Now is the waypoint. Well, obviously behind the rock. All right, sorry. Let's go around. Let's go towards the awful sound. And see if we can find my machine gun. I hope I have one. Okay. I'm liking the sound design. Someone's going, shh. That's uh, fairly creepy. And I must say the environment looks uh, way better in the dark. Okay. Everything went quiet and... A cave? Why would I go inside a cave? Uh, maybe, I, maybe I get lucky and get eaten by a bear or something. Press control to crouch. I know. I've already done it. Way ahead of you, game. Uh, is, is there going to be jump scare here? Uh, maybe. Something from above, perhaps? Just guessing. Oh. Okay. Not from the direction I was expecting. I kind of ruined the moment by looking up. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Jump scare. Right. Not sure who that was. And we've got some... Uh, I 
don't know what this is. This looks pretty disgusting. I don't want to stick my feet into that, so let's go around it. Uh, what is going on? Um, space to jump. Okay. Maybe, yeah, the game probably wanted me to jump over this. Uh, otherwise, I would have probably been melted or something. I'm kind of almost tempted to try and jump in there, but let's not. Can we turn off the flashlight? We can. That's probably a very bad idea. And it seems like the waypoint system has just uh, given up on me, which is fine. And we do have some guidance here. Oh, look, there's lots of pretty glowing things, but no stars. Right. So far, I'm uh, I'm quite liking this. It's quite atmospheric. And I like the sound design. But so far, we haven't found the source of that sound everyone keeps talking about. Hang on. I heard that. Oh, there's something over to the right. Sounded like voices. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. I'm using earphones. Oh, look. A cabin in the woods. That's... Uh, I don't know. Should we really go there? Should we just stay out here? It's probably much safer out here. Just took a bit of a breather and enjoy the sound effects here. Some creepy music going on. Which makes me feel very welcome. It's getting louder. We have something here. It's a... Um Lamp post. Let's go and explore it. I'm moving so slowly. Okay. What? Um, I'm sorry. What? 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 Um, oh, of course. A pentagram. I see. I see. He, he did. I mean, the, the effect was somewhat ruined by a little bit of a derpy walk cycle <laughs> but all right you got me game again yeah that thing just disappeared i don't know if that was some sort of mutated overgrown goat or something but let's try the door what it's a padlock i should look around for clothes okay i suppose i should search the the way to search the way to open the cabin right i don't suppose it's one two three four just like my luggage right Vroom. Vroom. it was wrong that's highly unfortunate and my 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 lab flashlight is crapping out but i do have a new battery so never mind let's just run into to the wilderness ah yes i found the new glowing goal of my my life here come back alive come back alive come back alive yeah come back alive i i'd love to come back alive yes i think you made your point alive yes i like that idea what is that Press E to ha okay. Come back alive. I see. So this is like me hiding in a very tiny uh, bunch of grass here. But hey, if it works, it works. Again, maybe not hugely fond of this kind of handhold a bit, but I, I suppose it kind of makes sense. It's hard to really. I mean, looking at this, I wouldn't go. Oh, this is a very good place to hide. 
Hmm, so I suppose it helps. Oh my, what could have done this? Maybe the lovely goat fellow I just met. Oh, there's even a, a corpse. I didn't see that. Press E to search. Why would I do... Okay, maybe I need a, the, the uh, password for his luggage. Something is coming. Oh, God. Maybe you should shave your legs, buddy. Let's hide in the... In the grass. Stay calm. Control your heart. Hold left mouse button. Uh, okay. Oh god, I'm going to... A arrhythmia. What was this called? <laughs> ah, that goat is really in a hurry. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let's just... No. Hide from the monster. Okay, I... Okay, I'll just keep writing my diary then. I think I need to change the batteries. Maybe uh, I should try and figure that out. Up, oh, yes, that's just very simple. Just press the um, fire button and bam! New batteries. Oh, look! Batteries. Someone's really littering the forest here. Don't they know lithium is dangerous? No. Uh, did I get any... Didn't I pick anything up, maybe? Maybe I just didn't click hard enough? Uh, I suppose we should go back out there then. Oh, damn, because I didn't get anything. And the running is really rather painfully slow. Right, let's search this again. Thought I'd already done this, but maybe I need to... Oh, I... oh yeah, 4160. I actually need to remember it using my brain. This is not going to end well. And I think this game is about... Uh, five to six pounds full price. There we go. And I don't know how long it is. Probably not very long. Right. This looks very cozy and we have a TV. This is where I came from, I presume. And now I can't get out anymore. Well, never mind. I'd rather stay here. Got any batteries? I don't care about music cassettes. I really don't. Hold right must mouse button to take the movable objects. I see. More batteries and another flashlight. So I presume we need to have one of these. Um... Oh. Okay. Yeah. The game really loves. To do jump scares. Um, <laughs> woman dead in flat for three years. Okay, yes. Um, I can see that being a problem, right? There's another clipping. No respite for haunted house family. Okay. Is it this house maybe that's haunted? Hold right mouse button to take the movable objects. Uh, okay, okay. Cassette. Nice. Oh, look. And prints. Uh, can I grab anything else, maybe? New, no, just a music set. So I'm not sure what, I, what I'm supposed to use them for. Maybe to chuck them at the monster, perhaps. And I can look at that. Report. Report. Isn't that spelled with an E? Yeah, never mind. Added to my diary, woman dead in flat for three years. Skeleton jo Joyce found in sofa with telly still on. Oh, yeah, the electrical bill. Man. One would imagine that they would uh, maybe wanted to pay her electricity bill, but mm, hey, what do I know? A haunted house. What, what the? Oh, I get more info about stuff if I press fire. Close. Maybe it's related to that cylinder. You mean the doorknob? Mm, probably. I'm slightly disappointed that the uh, television didn't give me a jump scare, but it's not too late. And it's not plugged in. Oh well. Ah, right, there's a hole there too. Alright, maybe I'm supposed to stick something there. Maybe a candle? 
Guessing. Needs lighter to be lit. Yeah, okay. But there's candles down here. Why can't I... Maybe I can stick one here. Uh, no. That won't work. Um, maybe it's the wrong... <sighs> Candle needs lighter to be lit. Um, yeah. I could have used those lit candles. There's still a lit candle on the floor. So why can't I use that? <laughs> okay. Ah, maybe I need to push this. Maybe I can push this. Yeah, you're reading my mind. Jump scare? Not yet. Okay, let's open this. Ooh. Creepy. Creaky and creepy. Oh, we get some booze maybe or some fine wine. Hmm. Oh, um, that's nice. What's this? Oh, a gun! Best way to shoot some... Best way to shoot some targets. Yeah, okay, with a gun. Yeah, that makes sense. Give it, give it here. Press 1 to equip pistol. Uh, oh, I don't have any hands, but... Ah, who needs hands anyway? Open this. <coughs> yeah, the game really likes its jump scares. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to murder you cupboard. Let's get this. Or maybe not. I can reload though, so... I would very much like a lighter. That would be great. And there's a fire. Maybe I could take the candle and just light it here. Or whatever it is that I need to uh, put in that cylinder. Maybe it's not a candle. Die! Well, here's to you, TV. Oh, I can't kill you. Hmm. Can I shoot the glass? Nope. A little bit annoying that you use the uh, left mouse button to fire and to interact with objects. I can imagine me shooting lots of innocent items in this game, thanks to that. Yeah, it's terribly empty here. Oh, I can open these too. Okay, that's nice. Oh, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Oh, look. Uh, damn it. <laughs> can I grab these? No, I can't. Oh, for yeah, this is getting a little bit annoying. Could you please just can I can I grab these? Maybe? Just a little bit? No, I can't. Okay, maybe I nev never get any headaches in this game. That's fine. Even though, even though this is starting to piss me off. <laughs> it's really finicky getting the gears. Uh, what is that? Is that a candle that I somehow managed to... Uh, get stuck inside the TV or is that something else um I don't really know also we've got a 3d TV here that's very nice look at the 3d effect of that and I, I'm not even wearing any glasses bloody amazing the depth of the text Wow interesting it's got a built-in laser disc <laughs> doesn't look like a DVD but yeah never mind I don't think that is terribly important Oh, I forgot about the picture on the wall. Oh, that's nice. Family photo much? Oh, it's dripping blood from the ceiling from the pentagrams. That's nice. Ah, nice and cozy. 
and I've got 133 rounds left. Wow! I didn't notice that until now. Well, I'm obviously missing something. The developers wanted me to check a video before I um, made my own video. Oh, can I? Oh, look at that. Um, so obviously the game might be a little bit tricky, perhaps. But I thought, where's the fun in that? Let's just explore away and see what we find. And what I'm obviously not finding at the moment is a lighter. And something to stick in the... Uh, yeah, the cylinder, right? Yeah, um, shooting up the lock obviously doesn't work. Hello, girls. Do you have a lighter? Dying for a cigarette. Uh, that is somewhat odd. Are they levitating? Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> All right. Levitating aspirin. And this looks very inviting, this set of drawers here, but I really can't do anything and I'm not going to shoot at it because I don't want to waste my ammo. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm missing here, to be perfectly honest, but I'm sure it's something. I'm not sure what to do with that pesky cylinder. Let me just shoot it. Nope. It's impervious to bullets. And with that insight, I think I'm going to stop recording and uh, summarise my thoughts a bit. It's a fairly decent little horror title so far. It certainly is a bit rough around the edges, but when it comes to gameplay and visuals, it also seems to rely a bit too much on jump scares for my liking, but maybe that improves as you play on. The sound design is decent and so are the visuals, even though they are a bit uneven. And it's reasonably priced at €5.89, so it could be worth checking out, especially if it's on sale and if you don't mind the uh, jump scares and roughness. And with that, I'm going to say thanks for watching.